This is the Marshall Center Activity Report for April 2010. I'm Jason Tudor. The fifth iteration of the program on security, stability, transition, and reconstruction took place March 16th through April 1st. 41 mid-career professionals from 37 countries participated in the program. Among the presentations by leading experts were video teleconferences with Dr. James Shear of the DOD and Ambassador Mark Sidwell, NATO's senior civilian representative in Afghanistan. With the topic of European security, dialogue, and arms control, the George C. Marshall European Center for Security Studies, in close cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, held a security political conference in Berlin April 28th through 30th. This year's topic raised high expectation and commenced only a few days after the START Treaty was signed in Prague by U.S. President Barack Obama and the Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. High-ranking representatives from 24 countries, among them the Armenian, Azerbaijani, and Georgian vice ministers, together with parliamentarians from Estonia, and Bulgaria discussed the possibilities of a new European security architecture and the role of nuclear and conventional arms control for European security and stability during the conference. The German Ministry of Foreign Affairs noted that the dialogue and exchanges of ideas were valuable contributions to the ongoing debate concerning European security. Retired Major General Hermann Wachter, German Deputy Director of the Marshall Center, summed up the event by saying, quote, this conference made it possible to intensely exchange thoughts and to present new security political Political approaches. Two Marshall Center professors taught a week-long module on terrorism to participants of the Italian Institute of High Defense Studies April 12th through 16th. Admiral Alberto Cervoni and Dr. Chris Harmon, who teach in the Marshall Center's program on terrorism and security studies, developed and presented the module called Extremism, Terrorism, and State Response. The event took place during the 61st session of the IASD's annual Security Studies course, which runs from October to June. Partner Language Training Center Europe conducted a three-week advanced language testing seminar for experienced language test developers from NATO PFP nations April 19th through May 7th. The nine participants came from Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, France, Georgia, Hungary, Italy, Lithuania, Romania, and Slovakia. They are all testers of English using NATO proficiency standards. The seminar facilitators were from Canada, Italy, Hungary, Slovenia, and the United States. The Marshall Center's contribution to the mission in Afghanistan, the Mission-Related English for Operational Mentor and Liaison Teams workshop, took place March 30th through April 9th. Five participants from the German and Greek Armed Forces took part in the two-week workshop designed to help participants improve their English for use in the military, radio communications, and face-to-face -face conversations with Afghan National Army commanders and interpreters. If you're unfamiliar with the Mission-Related English workshop, you can catch a full story about the program on the Marshall Center's YouTube channel. The chairman of the Partnership for Peace Consortium Advanced Distributed Learning Workshop Group visited the Kazakhstan National Defense University from April 7th through April 9th. Rito Schillinger of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology met with NDU officials and introduced group members to the staff of the university. They identified possible synergies among the university, Kazakhstan Defense Education Enhancement Program, and group members. He also assisted and advised the university with launching an advanced distributed learning program. The Austrian Ministry of Defense marked 10 years of participation in Partnership for Peace Consortium activities during an April 22nd ceremony in Vienna. More than 100 attended the ceremony called 50 Years of International Missions. The ceremony was a commemoration of Austria's history of international engagement since World War II. Consortium Executive Director Henry Bigo thanked Austria for its contributions and, in particular, through the Regional Stability in Southeast Europe Study Group. The Partnership for Peace Consortium's Combating Terrorism Working Group kickoff meeting happened April 13th through 15th in Sarajevo, Bosnia-Herzegovina. 32 participants from 15 countries attended, led by Marshall Center's Dr. John J. Lebeau, who serves as chairman. The conference was co-hosted by the Ministry of Security of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Partnership for Peace Consortium Study Group on Regional Stability in Southeast Europe met in Reichnau, Austria on April 23rd through 26th, uniting 49 experts from 17 countries, including all regional countries. The workshop sought lessons in international efforts in conflict management. In particular, they sought lessons that can help reduce political insecurity by supporting state and democracy building, establish a peaceful and cooperative security environment, and overcome hate perceptions and approach a climate of positive peace. 18 alumni joined 43 Italian Institute for High Defense Studies participants April 14th at the Centro Alti Studi Defesa in Rome for a lecture and panel discussion on Western counterterrorism strategies. The discussions were led by retired General Jean-Paul Raffan, the Marshall Center's Dr. Chris Harmon, and Mr. Claudio Galzarano of the Italian National Police. The alumni attended as part of an outreach networking event coordinated by the Marshall Center's Graduate Support Office. 
A multinational team of curriculum writers met for their third workshop at the NATO Defense College April 27th through 29th. They gathered to work on the NATO Standard Reference Curriculum for Professional Military Education. The curriculum will cover pre-commissioning, captain level, and staff college level phases of officer professional development. The Allied Command Transformation Senior Enlisted Advisor also attended with a team of experts to explore the production of a reference curriculum for non-commissioned officers. NATO requested that the Partnership for Peace Consortium develop this product after receiving numerous queries from partner countries about the existence of such a reference. The Marshall Center Graduate of the Month for April is Dr. Nika Chitadze. He is a Georgian professor of international relations who attended the Marshall Center's Leaders of the 21st Century course in 1999, while an advisor to the Georgian Deputy Minister of Defense. He later worked for the State Agency for Regulation of Oil and Gas Resources and for the National Security Council. He is currently teaching at several universities in Georgia to include Tbilisi State University, American University for Humanities, University of Georgia, and the Tbilisi Academy of Economy and Law. Dr. Chitadze said he gained useful knowledge in the fields of international relations, political science, national security, and defense management while at the Marshall Center. April distinguished visitors to the Marshall Center included Brigadier General Mark Scraba, Deputy Director, U.S. European Command, International Military Partnering. He visited April 12th to attend a program and advanced security studies lecture. Brigadier General Gregory Brundage, Director of UCOM Command, Control, Communication Systems, and Warfighting Integration, visited April 19th for an orientation. And Rear Admiral Norman Hayes, Director of UCOM Intelligence, visited April 28th for an orientation. In the arena of worldwide support, here's where the Marshall Center reached out. Professor James Wither is currently teaching at the FBI Academy's Leadership in Counterterrorism program now through June 5th. The 12-week program is open to U.S. and foreign law enforcement officers and is accredited by the University of Virginia. Professor Wither is the first center professor to teach at the Academy. Dr. Sabine Colmer presented the paper, The Afghanistan Conundrum, German Public Opinion on a Difficult Mission, at the Er Gomas Working Group Meeting on Public Opinion, Mass Media, and the Military from April 8th through 11th in Slovenia. And Lieutenant Colonel Paul Yingling gave an interview to the Army Times about reforming the DOD system for senior leader development. He also provided information as part of an article called Families Want Accountability for Afghan Battles and another interview to Military Officer Magazine on the impacts of combat deployments and military families. You can read more about the Marshall Center on our website at www.marshallcenter.org. From there, you can connect to our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Twitter feed. We've also got a great mobile phone application that keeps you in touch with the Marshall Center on iPhone, and it's coming soon to Android phones. This has been the Marshall Center Activity Report for April 2010. Thanks for listening. I'm Jason Tudor.